take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Directions. Add sausage meat to a skillet and cook the meat till brown. Remove most of the fat from the pan except a teaspoon. Add butter and flour to the pan. Cook the flour for 2 to 3 minutes to get rid of the raw taste. Add milk to the pan and whisk till the gravy thickens. Serve the gravy with buttermilk biscuits. Take our lead. Instructions. In a saucepan, add the butter. Once butter is almost all the way melted, add in the flour. Add stock very slowly. Then, add your salt and pepper. Let cook, stirring often, until gravy begins to thicken. Remove from heat and keep warm. Store leftovers in an airtight container in the fridge for 7 days. Let's help you make your mark. To thicken a sauce such as gravy with starch, the first thing you will need to do is stir the starch into a small amount of cold water. How to thicken gravy with starch. Corn starch 1 teaspoon. Potato starch 1.5 teaspoons. Tapioca starch 1.5 teaspoons. Arrowroot starch 1.5 teaspoons. Take our lead. In a saucepan, melt butter. Once butter is melted, add the flour and whisk. It will look like the consistency of wet sand. Slowly add the milk and whisk to incorporate. Whisk until smooth. Gravy will thicken. Add in the additional milk if you want a thinner gravy. Add salt and pepper to taste. Take our lead. Asterisk if the gravy is not getting as thick as you'd like. Whisk together 2 teaspoons of cornstarch and 2 teaspoons of water in a small cup. Drizzle the mixture into the gravy and stir. Cook for 3 to 5 minutes until the gravy has thickened. Take our lead. Instructions. In a large saucepan over medium-high heat, bring chicken broth to a boil. Stir in garlic powder and onion powder and continue to stir 1 to 2 minutes longer. In a small bowl whisk together water and cornstarch until dissolved. Stir into boiling broth till thickened. Add salt and pepper to taste. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.